again to a place called Through. I am your host, Patricia Woody Goings, and we broadcast from WYTV7, Community Broadcasters Network. A place called Through is a place where we share real stories of real people going through, getting through, and helping others that have gone through and still trying to get through. This is the place that you can share your story, be encouraging, inspire someone else to help them. You know, we all go through diverse situations from time to time, but sometimes your situation may be that situation to help encourage someone else. And so here at A Place Call Through, Inspirational Moments, that's what we're here to do. You know, one of the things that we also ask is that you continue to sow your seeds into this ministry to help us on this mission of hope as we continue to spread the word globally. We can't do it without you. So even though, you know, you may have given before, continue to sow those seeds. Nothing is too small, but of course, we like and appreciate all that you have done. So continue to tune in to us for more inspirational stories as we share with you with our guest today, Ms. Jacqueline Shallis, who is going to talk to you about empowerment and empowering women who, you know, sometimes we hide our thoughts, but we're going to learn a little bit today about how to express ourselves. So we want to welcome our guest, Ms. Jacqueline Shellis, to A Place Called Through. Welcome. Thank you for having me. We sure appreciate you taking the time out of what we know you have such a busy schedule. So we're going to go ahead and jump right on into it. So talk to us, you know, we're all in this state of pandemic. We've been here for a couple of years now. No one knows when it's actually going to be over. So talk to us about the effects of empowering people now to come out, to, to speak up and express themselves. Oh, it's more important than ever. And I think we've seen a lot of this um, both within our country and globally as well, that the pandemic has brought out the best and the worst, you know, uh, depending <laughs> on what you're looking at and your opinions. But what has um, been really catalyzed is the notion of speaking up and of speaking out. Um, again, whether it's a positive or negative depends on the day of the week, right? Um, but the, the idea that now we have a greater not only capacity for receiving what people have been saying for years about themselves, about their experiences, but also with wanting to take it a step further and acting upon what you're hearing. Um, this is crucial, especially for introverts. We're constantly thinking and constantly having this, um, this, this inner space that we're working in. The pandemic has really created um, a path, if you will, for us to leverage both that need for solitude as well as the ability to more deeply engage. Well, let me, let me just go back a little bit because, you know, growing up for myself, I was always, I wasn't shy, but I was kind of like quiet. I never really wanted to jump into the conversation. And that was because I was, you know, pretty much around adults most of my life. And, you know, growing up in my family, it was like when the adults were talking, you know, you just either be quiet and most of the time you were told to leave the room. So for you to get to this point, of you know, ministering to people, women, about speaking up. How did you get to that point? For me, there's a, it, it starts for me back in my childhood. Um, the very short version of it is I was very clear at the earliest ages of what I would be doing. I knew I would be on stages. I knew I would be writing. I knew I would be traveling the world. And also I knew that I needed solitude and I liked quiet and I liked having time to myself. And so for other people, these things seem to not be able to coexist. For me, it's like, of course they do. Um, and I had an opportunity in high school where I was recruited to a debate team and it provided me the opportunity to lean into my introversion. And it was really just, I had no idea how that was going to look. I didn't know what I was gonna do, but I just thought, if I'm going to be that person that I see in my head, what would that person do? What would she say yes to? What would she say no to? Let me try it out and see. <laughs> and so that sort of area, like, oh, let me just see what this is like, opened up all of these different pathways. Um, and for me, that still continues today. The benefits of that one decision, I still benefit from, but also that idea of 
introversion is not something that you need to overcome. It's not something that you need to fix. It's a gift. And when you lean into that gift, um, as opposed to thinking you can't be introverted if you're successful, or if you're successful, you have to pretend to be something that you're not, both are false. When you lean into the truth of who you are, both the big vision for yourself and your introversion, that's where the magic happens. That's where the blessing gets received, not just for you, but for the people who are impacted by you. And, you know, one of the things I know that you and I talked about previously was the awesomeness in people to be able to express themselves, um, you know, because a lot of people, as we've just stated, they don't express themselves and like I said with me growing up I was you know taught leave the room or you just be quiet and then when I started talking everybody was like oh she has a voice so <laughs> you know the effect of being silent and once you realize that it's okay the effects that you have seen on on people women and you know what is that like because you know everybody's just they're just not really still, even though they realize later on that I have a voice and that it matters. What are some effects that you've seen on that? I mean, there's a few things. Um, I, I'll tease out one thing and it'll answer the question in part. <laughs> um, everything that I do revolves around embracing your awesome. Awesome is an acronym for your amazing works of expression serving others with maximum enjoyment. And so that notion that everything that you do in your life, all of these different labels that you have, these are different ways for you to express who you are. Um, being a mother is an expression. Being a spouse is an expression. Being an introvert is an expression. And so all of these have value, not just for yourself, but also for those that you serve. Being in that space where you're honoring all of these capacities and facets of you blesses other people. It empowers other people. It encourages other people because you exist in the way that you do. Your life becomes a lesson for them. Um, and not just that you have these expressions and you're serving other people, but also that you need to have joy. You need to have pleasure. You need to have delight. You need to have those moments where you are simply enjoying this life that you have because your joy then becomes a service, all of that is what it means to embrace your awesome. And so when we look at women who are reclaiming their voices, it's not that they didn't have one, it's that they conditioned themselves because of their environment to diminish their voice. For introverts, our voices are constantly going um, because we're internal processors. And so our mind creates all of the worlds and all of the possibilities before we land on the one. Um, and for us to be able to take back and to reclaim that voice we already have, it's not just the woman who then feels more confident and more assured in her place and who she is in her world, but then the people who are watching her that she may not even be aware are watching her, they then are impacted. Her, her kids, her family, her friends, her community is improved because she is owning her voice, not just because of only what she says, but the fact that she exists in a space honoring her introversion and all also, she has some great things to share. And, and that is important, you know, as you just stated, embracing your awesomeness. Um, we're going to pause momentarily for a commercial break, and then we're going to come back and talk some more about the awesomeness that does exist within ourselves and how it needs to be developed and how, you know, as we grow and mature, that we find this awesomeness that is already built into us, actually, because as children, Growing up, you began to model yourself through some adult that, you know, your mom, your aunt, you know, you, you already are modeling after someone significant. So we want to go back uh, and talk a little bit more about embracing that awesomeness, and we'll be back shortly after our commercial break. Once again, this is A Place Call Through. I am Evangelist Patricia Way going. I am the host of A Place Call Through Inspirational Moments. Come back with us momentarily as we stop for a commercial break here. And we're recording live from WYTV7 Community Broadcasters Network. Stay tuned. We'll be back momentarily after this commercial break at a place called through those inspirational moments to encourage, empower, and help you as you're traveling through this journey called a place called through. We'll be right back.
welcome back to a place called Through Inspirational Moments. We are just sharing stories today about the awesomeness within yourself, talking about yourself, being able to express yourself. You know, we all have something to say. And so today, Ms. Jacqueline Schulis, who is our guest, is sharing this about the introvert and identifying the awesomeness within yourself. So we want to continue on this path as we're talking about the inspiration that's within yourself, the awesomeness that, you know, that's built into you. And we're talking about being, you know, able to express yourself and really relating to who you are in your expression, helping someone else to go through. So once again, we welcome you back, Michelle, to a place to call through. So we want to go ahead and pick right back up. Let's talk about that awesomeness. I know that you had given me a statement um, when we talked before that everyone wants a little rejoice in their life. So talk to us about that, if you will. Absolutely. It's easy for us to look at what someone else is doing and then compare ourselves to that, say that I want that. When we have our own, <laughs> we have our own that we're often not recognizing. And that's not, not necessarily intentional a lot of our conditioning is around prioritizing others, especially as women. And when you add into other factors like being a woman of color or of other marginalized communities, everyone is more important. <laughs> everyone's experience is more important. We'll eventually get to you like you, but you have to put everyone else first. And so when we reframe that, and recognize that when we are healthy, when we are well, when we are honoring ourselves with joy, love, and service, then we can support people in a way that allows them to thrive in the ways that they need to. And the way that we show up becomes that blessing. It becomes that service. It becomes that love that others might not even express to you. They might not be even be able to articulate it, but us leaning into those blessings and those gifts of ourselves first and foremost, that allows our cup to then fill other people's. So in essence, when we, we identify with our abilities and, and, and our gifts to be able to express this awesomeness that we, we have in ourselves, is what you're saying that it does empower someone else who does not know of their, their awesomeness. It's not that they don't know who they are, but the expression, because everybody is not a verbal person, um, and right. some people express their awesomeness, you know, through art, um, you know, different formats do help them, but it's what matter is to be able to express it. And I want to go there with one example um, that you had talked about, about the tools and having that confidence, because you have to be confident in yourself. So talk about some more of the tools in finding that confidence, you know, to be this awesome person that you naturally are, if you will. Right. And I, and leading into that, let me touch on something very quickly around expression. A lot of times when we think of expression, we're thinking about something that's maybe verbally communicated, what we're saying or how we're saying it. That's part of expression, but that's not all of expression. The way that we exist is also expression. The ways that we get to pour into people is also expression. How we are able to live in excellence um, in a way that gives service all of those are different ways of expressing. What are we expressing? We're expressing the essence of who we are, who we were designed to be, and who we are here to be, to light the path for someone else. All of that is what we are expressing by being all of these things that we are. And so when we're looking at how do we tap into the confidence of that? How do you, how do you even find that? First of all, let me normalize not feeling confident all the time. <laughs> Sometimes people think if you're confident, you have to like reach some certain like level or epiphany. And then when you reach that, then you can start doing no. <laughs> That's You will always be at a place where there's some situation that will make you feel insecure or it will make you question your confidence. If you're doing something new, you're always going to feel insecure. It's new. You know, these are all things that we're going to have have those moments. And so if you're not feeling confident, 
that should not deter you from still taking steps. It's in the action. It's living into who you are. It's being that person until you see that person. That's what cultivates the confidence. It's not you get confidence and then you do it. No, you do it <laughs> and the confidence follows. Um, and let me rephrase that. It's not that the confidence follows. The confidence is developing right alongside. So when we think about someone sure. like, um, and she is known for having this alter ego, her Sasha Fierce. And one of the things that's amazing, one, it's great that she had that as, as really a means for her to use those external facing things. So she is an introvert. She uses her alter ego, Sasha, to be kind of the, the, uh, the headlining celebrity person. And then when that duty is done, she goes back to being herself, which is more quiet, more reflective, more in solitude. She um, mentioned that she relied on having that sort of alter ego space until she was finally comfortable with just herself being in her full display. And then she was able to just be. <laughs> it wasn't that she was confident as she was doing all of these amazing things. She still had to leverage that piece of delegating out these external facing things. And for introverts, this is extremely helpful because as that confidence is cultivating and as it's developing, you lean into delegating out, okay, being in, in the meetings and talking out, that's not going to be really my jam, but my alter ego, I can pass that on to her. She is embodying um, the confidence. She is embodying the boldness. Let me let her talk. And when she's finished, she can pass the reins back to me for the reflection and the introspection um, and the observation. <laughs> and so just like you're saying, you know, it previously, um, it is embracing the power within yourself, knowing, yes. you know, that this is who I am. Unfortunately, you have to be developing yourself for who you are and who you are trying to become. Because as life presents itself, you know, we're still growing. And that clock is fastly ticking down. So we're <laughs> going to have to wrap this up, unfortunately. So I'm going to give you about a minute to go ahead and let our listeners and our viewers know if they want to get more information about you and your services. We want you to get that opportunity in. So it looks like we've got about a minute for you to do that. So I want to first thank you for being my guest today on A Place Call Through. And I'm going to go ahead and let you just share that information, how they can reach out to you, if you will. Absolutely. Well, you can always find me at IEmbraceAwesome.com. That is IEmbraceAwesome.com. That is my home base where you can find information, resources, what I'm going, what I'm doing um, to help support introverted women of color to get seen, heard, and respected by embracing that awesome that we've been talking about. So go to IEmbraceAwesome.com and you can find all of my details there. And again, I thank you for being my guest today and sharing that wonderful story about embracing the power within. You've heard it here today on A Place Called Through. I am your host, Evangelist Patricia Wave Goings, and we do broadcast once again from WYTV7 Community Broadcasters Network. Again, if you've enjoyed this story and those that have come before her and those that are still coming, and you have an inspirational story, you know what? We'd like to hear your story, and you want to reach out to me in area code of 843. 608-9744 or area code 843-812-1958. You can find me on email at pgoingswp at gmail.com. Also visit our website for updates. We also have a midnight prayer call coming up every first and third, third Friday night. Tune in for that as well. And if you go to the website, you can submit your prayer request or a contact me form. Once again, I am Patricia Goings. I'm Evangelist Patricia Goings. I am your life, health, and wellness coach as well, and the author of Willpower, The Call to Rise Above. Once again, I thank you for being our guest, Michelle, today and sharing that story about embracing yourself in who you are. And we thank our audience for tuning in today. Tune back again, once again, to A Place Called Through. And remember, those charitable donations help make the difference on our mission of hope. You've heard it here today on A Place Called Through with those inspirational moments. Contact Michelle for updates and information so that she can help you to learn and develop what that awesomeness that does lie within yourself. As we've stated, you are awesome. Believe in yourself and know 
that you are an awesome person. So we thank you again. And the clock has wind down, but we just want to say thank you.